Okay, so today we'll solve get 2020 question. This is a question from real analysis. This is question number 13. Let C01 denote the space of all real valued continuous function on 01 equipped with the supremum norm, norm infinity. And let F be a function in C01 such that this satisfies this property. Mod of fx minus fy is less than m times mod of x minus y for all x, y in 0 and for some m which is positive. Then for n belongs to natural number, we define fn of x by f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n. And we define then a set s by taking all such fn for n belongs to natural number. Then we have to check that, that this set is closed or compact or totally bounded or not. Right. Okay, so let so in order to solve this problem, this is the NPTEL reference. Okay, let's start solving this problem. So C zero one. with norm infinity this is our space and let f belongs to c01 such that mod of fx minus mod fy this is less than m times mod x minus y for all x y in 0 1 and for some n which is positive then for each n we are defining this fn x by f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n and we are defining a set by collecting all such fn then we have to show that this set is compact closed or not so first we will show that this set is not closed Okay, so note that this here n is from n equals to 1 to infinity. So n equals to 1 if you put it is x square. n equals to 2 it will be 1 plus x to the power. So first claim we so note that that f fx does not belongs to f does not belongs to s right because this is f is not there means f of x i f of x is not in this collection fnx for x belongs to 0 1 and n belongs to natural number right so this is not because this is x to the power 1 plus 1 by n for n belongs to 1 to infinity then we will so this is not in the set we will show that this is the limit point of this set under this sup norm claim What is the claim? F belongs to S closer. So closer with respect to this norm. Right. So we will claim that this F is the limit point of this set S in this soup norm. So therefore as F is not in the set S, so it is the, the so the, therefore set S will be not closed. So what is the meaning of this? 
means there exists so means there exists sequence hn belongs to s such that hn minus f in sukno this will goes to zero so what will be our hn so we will show that hn is basically so take hn of x to be the fn of x so these are f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n so we have to show that this so to show fn minus f in the supnorm converges to 0 means fn converges to f so this is the means the uniform convergence uniformly right we have to show that fn converges to f uniformly so therefore we have to check that so let's check that this converges uniformly means so fn minus f sup norm so this is by definition supremum over x belongs to 0 1 fn x minus fx so this is same as supremum over x belongs to 0 1 f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n minus fx and now s have this property right f that this satisfies this inequality so this is the Lipschitz means f is Lipschitz with constant m so therefore this is less than supremum of x belongs to 0 comma 1 so this is m times mod of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n minus x so right so if we show that x to the power 1 plus 1 by n converges to x uniformly then we are done so therefore if x to the power 1 plus y converges to x uniformly then we are done right because this converges to uniformly means supremum over x belongs to 0 1 x to the power 1 plus 1 by n minus x converges to 0 so therefore fn minus f we converges to 0 in soup norm so why this converges to 0 so here we will use Denis theorem so to show this we will use Denis theorem so what it is saying Denis theorem so let d be a subset of a subset such that d is compact and if fn be a sequence of function then 
be a sequence of function on D such that Fn converges to F pointwise. If Fn is monotone, for each x means means either which is saying that fn x is less than fn plus 1 x or fn x is bigger than fn plus 1 x either mode on increasing or decreasing for all n right then it is saying that fn converges to f uniformly uniformly in d so we will use this theorem so so here note that we have 0 comma 1 so these are sequence of continuous functions so here almost we are in c0 n and so here the d is also compact set 0 n so here we have fn sir these are fn so we have to show that either these are increasing or decreasing and we have to show that this converges to x point wise so here we have fn x to be x to the power 1 plus 1 by n for x belongs to this is 0 comma 1 so this is d and in the interval x 0 comma 1 note fns are increasing in 0 comma 1 means i fnx is less than fn plus 1x for all x in 0 comma 1 or x to the power 1 plus 1 by n is less than x to the power 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 right and where this will converge note x to the power 1 plus 1 by n converges to x pointwise. So x is our the limit for f and x. So therefore by Denis theorem x to the power 1 plus 1 by n converges to x uniformly means supremum over x belongs to 0 comma 1 x to the power 1 plus 1 by n minus x converges to 0 therefore we get fn minus f in the supnorm goes to 0 which is same as fn converges to f uniformly 
so f n converges to f uniformly but so means f is in the s closure so as f n x goes to f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n these are belongs to s which implies f belongs to s closure so as f does not belongs to s which imply s is not closed under this norm in c01 right so s is not closed so next we have to check that s is compact or not so for that we will use argela scoli theorem so so Argela Scoli characterize the compact subset in C01. So let me write. So what is this theorem saying? Let S be a subset of C01. Then S is compact. S is compact. if and only if s is closed uniformly bounded and equicontinuous So, so Ajala is saying that so this characterizes all the compact subsets of C01. So it is saying that S set is compact in C01 if and only if this is closed, uniformly bounded, and equicontinuous. So you have shown that S is not closed, but S closure is clo closed because this is a closure of that set. So this is by definition it's closed. So we have to check the remaining that this is uniformly bounded and equicontinuous or not. Right. So let's check. So first uniformly bounded uniformly boundedness. So what is S? Note S is all such Fn such that N belongs to natural number. So means this is f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n such so that n belongs to natural number and x belongs to 0 1 right so informally bounded means we have to check that supremum over x in 0 1 and supremum over all such functions such that h in s mod hx this should be 
less than sum m so if for sum n then we call s to be uniformly bounded so let's check why this is true so not f belongs to c01 right so which implies f is bounded and let's say mod of if x is less than m for all x in 0 1 for some n then what will happen to this set then supremum over x in 0 1 supremum over then what will happen so we have to so that this is bounded by some constant so this is supremum over x in 0 1 and how the functions are look like so these are basically f n x so supremum over n f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n but note that this is basically this is f of sum which is in the domain and as f is bounded so this is independent this m is independent of the point m right because this m so therefore this does not depend on x and n so therefore this is less than m as f is bounded which implies s is uniformly bounded right and this is also true for the what is the limit because s closure is basically s union that limit f f of x and this is obviously bounded as s closure in this norm basically this set s union that function right and S is also uniformly bounded, so S closure is also uniformly bounded. Because F is also bounded by M. Now we need to check that S is equicontinuous or not. Now we will check. So S is equicontinuous. Means what you have to show for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta bigger than 0 such that whenever mod of x minus 1 is strictly less than delta we have 
मॉड ऑफ एफ एक्स माइनस एफ वाई सम लेट मी डिनोटेड बाय समथिंग डिफरेंट जी एक्स माइनस जी वाई इज लेस देन एफ सी लॉन फॉर ऑल जी इन सम प्लस एस राइट सो दिस वी हैव टू चेक ओके सो फर्स्ट नोट व्हाट इज सो यू हैव टू चेक फॉर एफ एल्स सो हेयर वी हैव सो लेट्स चेक फॉर एफ एन एक्स माइनस एफ एन वाई so this is f of x to the power 1 plus 1 by n minus f of y to the power 1 plus 1 by n and as f satisfies that inequality so this is less than m times x to the power 1 plus one by n minus y to the power one plus one by n so you have get this now we will show that this function now we will show that this function is also equal so you have to check that this is equicontinuous or not means this family of function Let's check this family of function x to the power one plus one by n. Is equicontinuous. Why? Suppose let this is h n x. Note that these are differentiable. so what is what is h n dash x this is 1 plus 1 by n into x to the power 1 by n so what is mod of h n dash x this is less than 1 plus 1 by n x to the power 1 by n mod so this is less than 2 times and this is mod x less than 2 right for all x belongs to 0 1 so by lagrange mean well theorem what we got that h n x minus h n y is less than so it will be some that h n dash at some point c so this is less than 2 times mod of x minus y for all x y in 0 1 so basically h n this family of function this satisfy this lipschitz time inequality with same constant so h n Which is x to the power one plus one by n. This satisfies star inequality. With same constant, two. Then this is the result that if the family of functions satisfy the Lipschitz time inequality with the same constant, 
then that family of function is uniformly equicontinuous so x to the power 1 plus 1 by n so this is the result that if some family of function which satisfies the Lipschitz type inequality this inequality with the constant this to be the same for all sequence of functions then this family of functions will be equicontinuous and this is easy exercise that you can also do that you take these two before oh sorry so for you have to choose for epsilon we have to find a delta so you can from here you can show that epsilon by 2 you can find that if mod of x minus y is less than epsilon by 2 then this will satisfy always that equicontinuity condition so it's easy so x to the power 1 plus 1 by n is equicontinuous right so therefore we will use this inequality here also for this function here so let me call it one so from equation one so from one and star and this is star we get fnx minus fny which is less than we have got previously m times x to the power 1 plus 1 by n minus y to the power 1 plus 1 by n and this is again less than 2m times mod of x minus y So again here we got that fn is satisfy again the Lipschitz type inequality with the same constant 2m. So again here fn satisfies not Lipschitz time inequality, Lipschitz time inequality, Lipschitz inequality. So this is the exact Lipschitz inequality. With the same constant 2m. So again you can show that choosing that delta to be epsilon by 2m. So fn's are equicontinuous. This family. So you've got fn's are equicontinuous and so s is equicontinuous. So fn is equicontinuous, this family equicontinuous. Now what is S closer? As S closer, so this is basically S union that set F and basically F we have it satisfy the same inequality with m so it is also satisfied less than with 2m so s closer is also equicontinuous because in the all functions which are in s it satisfy the Lipschitz type inequality with the constant 2m and f is also satisfied with m so it is also satisfied with 2m means that total family is equicontinuous is also equicontinuous therefore we got s closer is 
closed uniformly bounded and equicontinuous so s closure is compact in c01 okay so now let's check which options are correct so you have got that the closure of s is compact so you have got that option number a is correct s is closed and bounded but we have checked that s is not closed so option number b is false s is bounded but not totally bounded oh, so there is one result that because s we have shown that this to be the if s is also totally bounded yeah means basically then s will be oh as s closure is compact so there let me write one result so compact um, so a compact implies uh, so therefore this is one result s closure with this norm is complete and totally bounded compact if and only if totally bounded So this is one result. Is set is compact in a metric space. if and only if s is complete and totally bounded and there is one result that this is a result one any subset of a totally bounded set is totally bounded is totally bounded so if s is uh, so as s closure is compact which implies s closure is totally bounded which implies s is a subset of s closure is totally bounded so s is totally bounded but what is the option given that s is bounded but not totally bounded so the option number c is false and s is compact so this is also not true because s is not closed so therefore only option number a is correct okay